Hello. Hello? Hello? Okay, apparently we're getting audio here, but I'm not getting any video. Hello? Hello? Okay, apparently we're getting audio here, but I'm not getting any video. Oh, hang on just a second, folks. I don't know what the heck's going on. I'm trying to check my YouTube here to see what the heck is... Hello? Hello? Okay, apparently we're getting audio here, but I'm not getting any video. Oh, hang on just a second, folks. I don't know what the heck's going on. Well, I'm going to continue working on this until I find out what the heck. I'm not getting any video feed at all. It's like, what the... Let's see. Um... I'm trying to check my YouTube here to see what the heck is... Hello? Hello? Okay, apparently we're getting audio here, but I'm not getting any video. Oh, hang on just a second, folks. I don't know what the heck's going on. Well, I'm going to continue working on this until I find out what the heck. I'm not getting any video feed at all. It's like, what the... Let's see. Um... I'm trying to check my YouTube here to see what the heck is... Hello? Hello? Okay, apparently we're getting audio here, but I'm not getting any video. Oh, hang on just a second, folks. I don't know what the heck's going on. Well, I'm going to continue working on this until I find out what the heck. I'm not getting any video feed at all. It's like, what the... Let's see. Um, I'm trying to check my YouTube here to see what the heck is... <laughs> Hello? Hello? Okay, apparently we're getting audio here, but I'm not getting any video. Oh, hang on just a second, folks. I don't know what the heck's going on. Well, I'm going to continue working on this until I find out what the heck. I'm not getting any video feed at all. It's like, what the... I'm trying to check my YouTube. Now I'm repeating myself. I don't know what the heck. <laughs> okay. All right, folks. Uh, I know you're probably listening to me, and uh, uh, you'll have to give me just a minute here. Oh boy, we're really getting some. Let me uh, let me stop that. Okay. Maybe we can get the repeat stopped. I get like three or four different feeds on this. I'm like, what the? <laughs> this is this is absolutely bizarre here. Let's see. Okay, go away. Anyway, if you guys can hear me, that's a good thing. Uh, I'm trying to get the C part out of here so you can actually see me. Let me turn my... Anyway... If you guys can hear me... Okay. Well, I know I'm on the air. I uh, Obviously, you can't see me. I don't know what the heck's going on this thing. Because um, I've got my webcam on. It's just not showing anything at the moment. 
Oh, let's see here. <laughs> I hate to have to do this without you guys ever seeing me, but uh, for some reason my software is not working the way it should. Uh, I will continue to work on this until we finally get some kind of um, anything. Because, hmm. Well, let me shrink this down for a second. Okay, well, I have now officially muted the audio, so now you guys can hear me. Uh, as for the video, I don't know what the heck's going on. I'm using, um, oh, what the heck is the software called? It's OBS Studio 24.0.3. If you guys know anything about OBS Studio or uh, if you guys know, uh, if you guys can find anything on this, I'd love to hear from you. I really would because I'm sitting here going, I don't know what the heck I'm doing. But anyway, um, I'm doing a live stream. Uh, it is me. It is Ted the Speed Learner. Good evening, everybody. I am sorry for the first six minutes of this live stream. Uh, I'll put on the uh, description at the end, hopefully telling you guys uh, to actually um, to uh, skip the first six minutes because we're having some technical difficulties. Obviously, we're still having some technical difficulties. I just don't know why. Um, anyway, uh, glad to see you tonight. Or, well, I know you're probably sitting there going, well, we, we can only hear you. Well, I'm sorry about the only hear me point because I don't know what the heck's going on. And I don't want to spend all night trying to figure this out. So uh, I do apologize for you guys not seeing me, but you actually are able to hear me. So that's that's at least half of it. Nothing there. Hmm. Anyway, but if, you got, if any of you guys um, find out why it is that nobody can see me, that would be fantastic. So I'm going to go ahead and continue the live stream. And uh, if you guys can figure out what's causing this not to be seen, that would be great. Okay, well, um, why am I on tonight? Well, if you're patient with me, I'm going to continue trying to figure out why nobody can see me. But in the meantime, why I'm on tonight? Because of this um, coronavirus stuff, uh, let me tell you this. I, I guess I just have to give you some facts. The facts around here is that our Walmart, I guess all Walmarts in the United States now are going to be closing at 8.30 at night. Uh, the Kroger stores, from the last I heard, they're going to close at 10. Uh, as for whether they're going to change that or not, I don't know. I do know that the little Walgreens around here, all of them are going to be closing at 9 o'clock at night now. Um, I also know that the banks around here, the lobbies themselves will not be open, but the actual tellers you can still get your stuff through the tellers okay and uh there are a lot of businesses restaurants bars they are not open at all uh they they uh they they their drive throughs are open they're uh they will carry the food to you to your car but as for actual um You can't dine in on them. You can actually get delivery. So there's a lot of pizza places that, and other places as well that's delivering food to people. Uh, but you cannot actually uh, sit in their restaurants. And this, of course, is very bad. Uh, if any of you know what's going on in your area, I'm talking from Illinois. If you guys are in a different area and you know what's going on in your area, leave the information uh, through the live stream or if you're watching this a little bit later. Um, by all means, leave a comment. That way we know. But at least I know I'm on the air. Whew. Okay. So, what do I got to say about all this? This is a serious situation. There's no question about this. But one of the things I will say is that some of this was actually caused because people just didn't wash their hands. It's that simple. A lot of this could probably be prevented if people were just to wash their hands regularly. 
And not just, oh, I splashed a little water and there now I'm okay. No, you need to really wash your hands well. Regularly. Okay? Um, and you say, well, I'm just using hand sanitizer. It, it's not enough. You really need to get some soap and water and wash your hands. Really. And uh, when you're buying things, um, remove the packaging, throw the packaging away, wash your hands, and then, because uh, gloves are not always going to protect you. I, I, I will tell you that because uh, you have to actually take the gloves off at some point. That means that if you're not taking the gloves off carefully, which a lot of people do not, uh, you, can, you can basically contaminate yourself again. You say, well, okay, well, we take the gloves off, we still wash our hands. Well, okay, you can go ahead and take the gloves off and wash your hands. That's fine. Uh, but um, you, you really need to be really careful when you take your gloves back off, well, if you're going to use gloves at all. Um, my thing with that is, unless you're really going into a truly contaminated area, I, you know, if you go into a doctor's office or something like that, you might want to wear gloves. But if you're just going shopping at the grocery store, uh, take some wipes with you, wipe off the cart a little bit, uh, and then make sure you wash your hands. Most of the time, it's just about washing your hands. That's the best advice I can give to you guys uh, outside of saying uh, if you have an elderly parent, you can still take care of them. Uh, but if you know you're exposed to this stuff, uh, don't come in contact with them. Uh, if you have somebody that is, um, shall we say, uh, vul more vulnerable to this disease than anybody else, certainly if you have the disease, don't come in contact with them. That's one of the best things I could tell you. But I will say that in certain respects, not all respects, but in certain respects, there is more hype to this disease than there actually is true disease. As a matter of fact, I even went on the air the last time and I told you guys that more people will suffer peril more because of the panic than the actual disease itself. This is a fact. The panic will be worse than the actual disease. That doesn't, that doesn't say the disease isn't bad. It is bad. But the... But the as I was saying, the panic over it is worse than the disease. Now, I will give you one thing. The thing I want you to remember here, okay, and the thing I want you to remember most about all of this is that this is not a time to panic. This is not a time to get aggressive. We don't want you doing that. On this channel, what I want you to do is to learn. The most important thing you could do at this period of time, especially since the schools are closed. Now, I want you to think about this for a second. Th this is where you put on your thinking cap. This is what this channel is all about, to put on your thinking cap. Okay, so here, put on your thinking cap. Okay. Oh, we got a reply down here. Okay, let me sit there. I'm thinking of getting a job now since it's never been easier. Uh, if you do, let me know. I, I'd like to know what you got and uh, how you're doing with it. So, yes, congratulations on that. Now, the thing is, th I'm going to want you to put on your thinking cap. In Illinois, they closed the bars, they closed the restaurants, they closed the schools. They're even considering, they have not done it yet, but they're considering closing the daycare centers too. Okay, now think about this for a second. You've got your bars and your restaurants and your schools closed and the daycare centers are open. But here's one more thing to think about. Did they postpone the elections here in Illinois? No. Why would you go to the trouble? This, this is where you get your thinking cap on. Why would you go to the trouble of closing the schools, closing the bars, closing the restaurants, possibly even thinking about possibly closing the daycare centers, and yet proceed on with the elections? Think about that for a second. I want that to ponder into your mind. Now, this is not the first pandemic that we've had here in the United States. That is also true. Have you guys ever looked up the, the, the statistics of the Spanish flu? I have. You'll find the information startling. 
This does not diminish the seriousness of this particular flu, but what it does do is it tells you guys that there's more to the story than what they're telling you on the news. Have they ever mentioned the Spanish flu? Have they ever made a comparison between the Spanish flu and this? I bet you a lot of those news, news networks never have, and they should, to give you what is called perspective. You need perspective in this day and age. So that's the thing I'm wanting you to do. I want you to learn. I want you to get perspective on things. Okay? Believe it or not, there are people who have actually contracted this virus and have come out on the other end and survived. They actually have people that have actually gone through the whole process of the virus and now they're on the other side and they've made it. How do I know this? Because President Trump got on the air and stated that he was actually considering finding these people who actually survived the virus and taking their immunity out of their blood and giving it to somebody else. Hmm. So people are surviving this. And if you look at what happened in Italy, and this is official news, you will find out that the vast majority of the people who died in Italy over this were either over the age of 65 or had compromised medical conditions already. They were already suffering from an ailment and then this thing came along and finished them off. Okay? Do the, do the news outlets tell you this? Some do, some don't. You need to find the news outlets that will tell you stuff like this. Is this situation serious? You bet you it is. But they're not telling you the whole story. And this is the part I want you to hear. Now, here's something else to think about. And this is for those people who have it in their minds. Oh, gee, we're going to go to the store and strip out all the toilet paper. We're going to strip out all this hand sanitizer, whatever, whatever, whatever. They're stripping out stuff all over the place. Some people, they do need a little extra amount because they really may not be able to go to the store for long periods of time. Okay, they may be confined for a while. But there are other people who are trying to profit off this stuff. Now think about this for a second. There are truck drivers trying to get supplies to people like me and people like you every day. If they cannot get a hold of the equipment that they need to keep themselves safe from the coronavirus and they get sick, what do you think is going to happen to all those shipments? Think about it. This is the channel where we call you to think. We don't want you to do anything rash. We just want you to think. Use your brain. Think, 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 think. Okay? This is also a good time to go through my videos and start learning everything I've already taught you in the last 10 years and tell your friends to do the same thing. They're not in school right now. They need something to do. This is the kind of thing they can do. If they want me to teach more, now, now I will tell you that I have slowed down a little bit on my teaching. One, because I had a flu back in it was just shortly before my birthday I developed a flu and that that was not that was not good but since this coronavirus outbreak has come through uh, I am shopping literally every single day that I am off when I am not working I am shopping sometimes as high as two to three hours a day okay and it's not easy for me to find the stuff I need. Not impossible, but it's not very easy. Yes, I have been into stores where the meat the meat counter was completely cleared out. Uh, the the uh, uh, produce area is cleaned out. Uh, there are lots of other. Now, what's amazing to me is the stuff like maple syrup, and uh, they have this vanilla flavoring called Tarani. Um, it's not been cleaned out, but other things have. And yes, paper products is one of them. I've gone to stores where I've seen the entire paper products part just gone. Literally, overnight. Bing! It's gone. 
so I know this is going on. Uh, it it has improved in our area, not not tremendously, but it has improved. And I just wanted to update you people and to just tell you guys, don't do anything rash. Don't hoard because the truck drivers need the supplies and also the medical personnel need the supplies too because how are they going to treat you if they themselves become sick? You know, in the Civil War, that's right, the old Civil War, sometimes the doctors got sick and that created a nightmare. Check out your history. You're going to find this out. <laughs> Let me tell you something. When your surgeon on the on the battlefield of the Civil War, when he got sick, you had a nightmare on your hands. That was a fact. So these are the kind of things I want you to learn. Now, there's one other thing I want you to think about as you are learning. This, this is a time to think. This is not a time to do anything rash. This is a time to think. To consider, to know your history, to do your research. You're at home. Do your research. Do your homework. Another thing I want you to think about is the Prohibition days. Ever heard about Prohibition? If you haven't, you need to research that. Because let me tell you something. If people are not congregating in restaurants, and they're not congregating in bars, and they're not congregating here, or they're not congregating there, and even some churches have closed because of this... Where are they gathering? Don't tell me people don't gather in situations like this. They actually do. Okay? Are they gathering in the grocery store? Are they gathering at the Walmart? Are they gathering at some electronic store somewhere? Where are they gathering? Well, think about the Prohibition days. People still congregated despite what was going on. If you don't believe me, you can check out the history for yourself. People will congregate one way or the other. You say, well, they're not congregating the parks. Well, they may not be congregating the parks, but I guarantee you that when you have certain groups of people, they're not going to stop congregating just because of all these little rules. They're not. History has clearly shown this. They will congregate somewhere question is where and what will they be doing when they get there so this is the kind of thing I want you to think about this this is the time to ponder to think to consider what I'm saying but the most important thing I can tell you is that when you when you go shopping as soon as you get home wash your hands if you if you're done shopping you put your groceries in your car Go back in the store, go to the restroom, and wash your hands. That's a good idea. That way you don't get it all over your steering wheel of your car. Never thought about that, huh? This is what I'm trying to tell you. The more hygiene you, pr you practice right now, the better off you're going to be. Now is not a time to panic. Now is a time to think. Use the brain. There are opportunities out there, but you don't have to hoard and cash in on them. This is your opportunity to learn a new skill. And if you learn that new skill, you can apply that skill in your life. And then what you can do is you can profit off of it as soon as this whole thing's over. With. And I promise you, at a certain point, this will be over. It may not be over tomorrow or the next day, but I have seen in the stores... The stores are limiting the merchandise. I have actually seen more and more merchandise on the shelf. It's slow, but it's coming. Shoot, I just went out today to go shopping, and I actually saw some meat to buy. Um, and some of the other things that I wanted to buy was there. So it's coming. There will be an end to all this. But the question is, are you going to think? Use your brain and think. That's what I'm trying to tell you. And right now, I'm still trying to figure out how in the heck this software works so I can actually show you my freaking... This is ridiculous. This is the most complicated piece of software I've ever seen in my life. Well, I can't click that. 
But anyway, this is the most important thing you can ever do. Now let's see. Oh, we got that. Got that going. Huh. Well, I want to do that. Huh. Well, I'm going to learn this software, am I? Uh huh. So anyway, like I said, this is not a time to panic. This is not a time to. Well, let me see what we got here. Huh. Okay. Anyway, I'm going to try to learn this software, and we'll see if I can get a a video on this. But anyway. Um, I guess I could start by asking Crazy Josh Cravey, what kind of a job are you trying to get? That would be a good thing to ask Crazy Josh Cravey. Um, again, I want to apologize for the randomness of this particular live stream. Uh, the main reason was, and, and this, will, this will happen until this coronavirus gets out of here, because I won't ever know really what time or how much time I'm going to have to actually talk to you people. And getting notes for videos is going to be very, very hard if I have to go shopping every day. Not to mention work. That's not fun. But anyway, like I said, this is not a time to panic. This is a time to think. I want you guys to start thinking and start using your brains to develop new skills, to look for opportunities, to be more observant. I mean, look at the things I've already talked about tonight. Did you consider any of this when you, as you have watched this video? Think about that. As I was talking to you tonight, did you consider anything I had said prior to watching my video? I bet you hadn't. This is the time you need to do research. This is the time you need to learn. This is the time to, to use your logic and reasoning and start understanding what's going on around you. It's better to do that than to do what you're going to probably see next. Okay? I, I hate to tell you this. There's a lot of good apples out there. And I have a lot of good students out there. I'm glad for it. I'm glad you guys are listening to me. I'm glad you guys are, are staying with me. You're thinking with me. You're pondering with me the whole nine yards. And unfortunately, in this wonderful nation of ours, we do have some bad apples. I think you've seen them on the news more than once. Think about it. Now think about this for a second. In late January... The first person from China who had the virus actually came into the United States. Hmm. And we, we didn't stop them? Think about it. Just think. Maybe we should start telling... Maybe we should, maybe we should put people... On, I'm looking for something simple. I was at Albertson the other day, and over the PA, they said they were hiring at most Albertsons and Safeways. Oh. I've worked for a grocery store. I worked for a grocery store for eight years. So, uh, sometimes the hours can be a little rough, and uh, catching sleep is not always so easy. But it, it, the, the job itself is worth it. So, um, good luck to you. Keep me apprised of your situation. And like I said, uh, if you are, um, if you know anything about the coronavirus in your area, I'd love to hear. I know, I know that I'm going to try for Safeway since there's also one in town where I go to school. Well, there you go. There you go. There you go. Well, keep studying is so I could transfer. Oh, there you go. There you go. Um, as you. Continue to learn from school, and I'm sure you're doing online studies now because that most of the schools are closed now, even the colleges. Um, always make sure you're learning from my channel as well because there's a lot of stuff on here that the schools may or may not cover. I do. and I, Sometimes I cover things that nobody will even talk about, and I do. 
so the main thing and I'm trying to think about what, what I was going to say and I I lost my train of thought but uh, if something doesn't add up then you need to add it up in your head and say you know what this doesn't make any sense but what I was going to say and I, I'm trying to remember it um, this is an election year and this in this election year you need to send politicians in there that will take these kind of logical arguments into consideration and start doing what needs to be done and say and simply say you know these people are not congregating in restaurants and bars and all this other stuff where are they going and and, and say look we know they're going somewhere it, 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 I mean, just looking at prohibition, we know they're going somewhere. Question is where, and what can we do? We get, we. I mean, there's not enough law enforcement to break all that up. I guarantee you that. But what can we do to alleviate that and say, okay, we're going to make safe places where you can congregate, um, and say, you know. I'm actually in finals week right now, but I've gone home a week early. All of our finals were moved online. Also, didn't mean to throw you off the train of thought. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. I, I get thrown off by the silliest little things, so don't worry about that. But uh, we need to we need to vote our politicians in. that are going to use rational thought. Say, okay, the people are going to gather somewhere. The question is where, and can we put them in a place where they can congregate? without spreading this virus because humans by very nature will congregate that that's that's just a part of history and you saw it in prohibition so you know it's going to happen the question is can we place them in places where we can keep control of the coronavirus while they congregate at the same time believe me this 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 distancing thing is only going to last a few days i promise you that it's, that the goodwill of the congregating is only going to last a few days. I guarantee you that. For the short term, they might be able to get away with this. For the long term, it's not going to go through. I promise you that. History has already attested to this. Whether it be the Spanish flu or prohibition or whatever, people are going to come together. The question is, how do we do this safely? We need a safe way for them to do this. And the most important thing I can tell you is to wash your hands, make sure that the truck drivers are getting the supplies they need to keep themselves healthy so they keep supplying you. And then on top of that, um, make sure that your health care people are getting their supplies as well. If you guys really want to help people, help your health care workers. Help your truck drivers. If you got time off, go out and buy their groceries and bring it to them. Say, this is, I'm buying these groceries for so-and-so. Get it to them. You have no idea how much that would help them out. That's a, that's a positive thing you could do for them. I know you're thinking, you're like, wait, what? We, we could do that? Yes, you can. You li literally can. So, um, anyway, uh, now you know why it's been very difficult for me to come up with notes, do anything else. Um, I hope that you guys watched my last live stream on that cable television stuff. There are still things I'm learning, and uh, I will tell you that the data cap on uh, Xfinity has been lifted, at least for the time being. Uh, so uh, things will get a little better for me and for everybody else as well. And uh, I don't know when they'll ever put that back. Whatever they do... I'll still get my unlimited anyway because I'm paying for it. But I will eventually become a cord cutter. It's only a matter of time now. So you guys can learn from that. Um, just as soon as I get a chance to sit down and do some note-taking, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I've had to cook extra. 
Okay, Th think about that for a second because I don't know when the food will be there. So when I have a day off and I've gotten the food, I have to cook it. That's all there is to that. But everybody was wanting me to do a live stream. I have actually done so. And I wanted you guys to know what was going on. And I'm glad you tuned in on this. So that, like I said, I want you guys to think logically. And if you're going to elect a politician, make sure they're thinking just as logically as we are. If they're not, don't vote that politician in. But I wanted to stop the panic and start you guys thinking. The most important thing is that one of these days this coronavirus nightmare will be over. Then what? As I have said before, and I'll say it again, you can survive on a budget. Yes, yeah, survive on a budget made easy. I'm promoting you, okay? But you can actually survive on a budget. But if you don't have a budget, you can't survive on it. It doesn't work that way. The only way you're going to get a good budget is to have a good education. Let me tell you something. I got a good education. That's why I'm still at work. If you don't have a good education, you're not going to work. It's that simple. And a lot of people are finding this out right now. They're finding this out. They're like, man. Of course, not always do they attribute it to their lack of education. But that's exactly what's happening. Talk to them. You would say, you know what, let's see how educated you really are. Because if you really were that educated, you would not be having troubles finding a job. The thing is, you can have more than one skill. Let's say you like cooking. That's fine. You can keep up your cooking skills. That's not the issue here. But if your employer can't employ you anymore, you can develop a second skill, you can use that to make money until your employer can bring you back or you find another place to go. Let me tell you something, the restaurants won't be closed forever. The bars won't be closed forever. That's why you have, in this day and age, you have to have two to three skills. Whichever one you can't make money off of, practice it if that's what you love, but remember, don't let it be your primary whatever. You need to start using your second and third skill to make money. And you can do this. Anybody can. And that's what I'm providing here. You have to be a multitasker in this day and age. That's the most important thing. Oh, by the way, and this is a note to Crazy Josh Cravey and Survival on a Budget Made Easy. I never thought about this. In my last live stream, I mentioned a link I was going to put in the description of the video. I forgot to put it in there and I got it done last night. I am sorry about that. I really want to apologize. That link is there now and you can watch that video. It's another YouTube video uh, that will tell you some very important information and I hope you actually watch it. But anyway, um, like I said, I just wanted you guys to have this information to think about what's going on, to do some research. What research do I want you to do? I want you to do research on the Spanish flu. I want you to do research on prohibition. Okay? And then use all those logic skills that I gave to you to figure out why it was that Illinois closed all the bars, all the restaurants, all the schools, even considered closing the daycare, but went on with the election anyway. Why? Ask them. Say, why did you do that? And get people to go, why did they do this? Think about it. This is a time to think, to ponder, to consider, to learn. Take advantage of this time. Learn something. Go through my videos. Learn it now. Don't panic. Don't go out in the streets. And this is another thing, too. Let me tell you something. I, I know some people that are filling up their gas tanks right now. Now, sometimes they have to do this. This is fine. But if you don't have to fill your gas tank all the way up to the brim, keep in mind this. That even at three-quarters of a tank, you can still get around. I promise you. But if you fill your gas tank super high, okay, super duper high all the time, the thing is, the more gas you use, 
the more gas the truckers can't use. They need that gas too. So make sure you're balancing what you actually do need to what the truckers might need. Think about that for a second. What do you need as opposed to what the truckers need? Remember, if the truckers can't get your supplies to you, you're in deep doo-doo. And that's another thing I want you to keep thinking about. What do, what do your health care workers need? What do your doctors need? Uh, what do your truck drivers need? It's very important to help those truck drivers out right now. So I want you to think about that. These are things I want you to think about. This isn't about right or wrong. This is about thinking. Put on your thinking cap. This is what I want you to do. Ponder these things. Think about these things. I bet until I did this live stream, you weren't like thinking, what? But that's the most important thing I want you to do right now. You, if, if there was anything I wanted you to do more than anything else is to think about what I'm telling you. Wash your hands. Don't panic. Don't hoard. Okay? When you need something, make sure you have what you need. But don't go popping yourself up on eBay. No need. You want to make some real income? You learn. You, that's the way you make real income. And your learning will last a lifetime. You don't need to hoard. You need to learn. And that's why I'm here. Keep in mind this. When some of these politicians talk about offering you free education, where are they getting the money from? I'll tell you exactly where they're getting the money from. Taxpayers. I'm a taxpayer. Anybody who holds a job is a taxpayer. That's where they're getting the money from. When I tell you I have free education here for, for all of you, am I getting anything for this? Nope. That's the difference. My education is truly free. Theirs comes from the taxpayer. So what it is, is that instead of you paying for the education, now somebody, some neighbor of yours is paying for the education. Get in the picture? It's not truly free. For them to constantly say you're going to get free education, you're not. It doesn't work that way. And same thing with this money that they're wanting to give everybody. Do you know what? Do you know what? There's going to be a bill for that. It's going to be in your taxes. That's right. When you file next year, that money's going to, that money's going to be asked for in your taxes. Hmm. Never thought about that, huh? That's why I want people better educated. Because the better education they have, the better job they have, the less likely they're going to ask for a bailout. Think about it. These are facts I'm telling you people. These are facts you can look up anywhere at any time. Check it out. It makes sense. The government gets their money from the taxpayer. That's just a fact. That I don't know why 7th graders are not taught this anymore. They should be. That's a fact, people. A taxpayer is going to pay for all this. Not just one, but lots of taxpayers are going to pay for this. Hmm. This is the kind of thing I want you to think about. So, I, I, I'm not telling you this or that or 20 other things. I'm only telling you to start putting it in your thinking cap and start thinking about the things I'm telling you. Ask questions. Start using your brain and start learning. Remember, one of these days this whole thing's going to be over with. You're still going to need a job. And the best thing you can do right now is to learn. Nothing will stop you from doing that. Okay, well, I know I've spent about 45 minutes with you guys, and I really need to get the rest of my food prepared, and I need to get ready for my next day at work. Uh, I have to go to work early tomorrow. So uh, I want to thank you guys very much for watching this presentation. Uh, I hope you guys skipped the first six minutes. <laughs> and uh, if you guys need anything, let me know, and I will try to present it as quick as I can. So I do want to thank you for watching this presentation. I'm sorry for the randomness of it. 
it couldn't be helped uh, mainly because of like I said I'm shopping practically every day I'll have off kind of random but what are your thoughts on liberals and conservatives hmm that's a tough one what I usually do is I test whatever they say against proper logic. If what they say is not logical, it's silly. It's silly. So what you have to do is you have to understand logic. Like I was telling you with the taxes. When they stand there and they tell you it's free education, you have to say, wait a minute, is it really free or are we taxpayers going to have to pay for it? Well, the taxpayers got to pay for it. So that doesn't add up. You can't call something free. It's free to certain people, but it's not free to us. We're actually paying for this. So, like I said, uh, with the Common Core, okay, they were telling you how wonderful Common Core was. Well, I have clearly shown you how, how wonderful it is not. I took you through Core, Common Core right here on this YouTube channel. If you don't believe me, you can go through my elementary mathematics videos and you'll see just how bad Common Core actually is. I am well known for saying, no, this is a horrible educational system and I would not have it taught to anybody. And I've clearly shown you why I don't have it taught to anybody. So when they're telling you certain things, start listening to what I'm telling you. It, 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 it doesn't all add up. Okay? So if things don't add up, there you go. Hey, think about it. Here it was, late January, and the first Wuhan infected person, one, one of the first that was ever infected with the coronavirus, came into the United States. And we let him in. Huh. Maybe that wasn't such a great idea, huh? And. How many more uh, people that came from Wuhan, China, came here or to Italy or whatever? And, they, and they've been talking about this. Uh, some, some of these Chinese went to Italy and, and, and some of them came here and they were infected. Uh, some of them knew it. Some of them did not. But they came here anyway. Was that a wise idea? Hmm. Another thing to think about. This, this is what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get you guys to think. Think about this. You know, um, I could go into all kind of, kinds of tangents, but if you start thinking with your brain, you'll start understanding what's going on. So... That that's it, it. It all boils down to logic. If something does not make sense, it's not good. And that and that's the way I'll answer you. Is to simply say, if something if a if a equals b and b does not equal c, then you have to stop and go. Wait a minute. A is not going to equal c because if a equals b but b doesn't equal c, then a is not going to equal c. You have to really think on the logical basis. If th things do not add up, say no. Say no, this does not add up. This does not make logical sense. Why are you saying it? And Common Core, I have proven, does not make logical sense at all. Because if it did, it'd be the best program they've ever had. And it doesn't. It, it's the worst thing I've ever seen. So... I asked because my friend's mom has been worried that going to college is turning her my turning my her into a into a liberal. The best way to keep a rational mind is to stay with me and listen to the things I'm telling you and develop the logical mind I want you to have. And like I said, if things don't add up, don't believe them. Stay away from them. So, that that's the best thing to do. This, this is where you need to study. You need to start th saying, this is not adding up. And if I tell you it doesn't add up, it doesn't add up. 
best thing to do right now is to avoid anything that has anything to do with Common Core. If it's Common Core, avoid it like the plague. That's the worst educational system I've ever seen. Don't go near that thing. That is that is a nightmare. And uh, as as time goes on, I'll present other things and and I'll tell you. And I, I literally I will tell you in the videos. This does not add up. Period. And when they tell you something's free. And you know the taxpayers are paying for it. It ain't free. You can say that. How can you say that this is free when it's not? It's just like in some of my Kindle books. When I told you guys about Isaac Newton and the first law of motion. Okay, you remember how I told you guys about Isaac Newton the first law of motion? Well, think about that for a second. There are people out there, if you really think carefully, that are actually saying that Isaac Newton was a liar. You're like, wait a minute. I've never heard anybody directly calling Isaac Newton a liar. If you think about what they're saying and you put that Isaac Newton to the test, you'll find out they're calling Isaac Newton a liar. You went, really? Memorize the first law of motion and compare it to what these people are telling you and you'll find out that they're calling Isaac Newton a liar. And that's not right. Think about this for a second. In the 1970s, they put missing kids on milk crates. Yet here in the 21st century, they actually had a guy in New York City that posed as a celebrity. He walked out in the middle of New York City. This happened a couple of years ago. And people were actually walking up to this guy, getting autographs from him, and having selfies taken with him. And now the White House is saying all U.S. adults will receive money to help with the, tr with the troubling times. Mm -hmm. But what they're saying is it's free money. It's not free. You now know this. Now, I want you to look up something. I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you a challenge, Crazy Josh Cravey. I want you to look up something. I want you to look up the Latin word lex, L-E-X. Okay, I want you to look that up. And then I want you to look up the Latin prefix. It's il, I-L, or I-N. Okay? Uh, I don't I remember it's I-L or I-N, one of those two. It's, a, it's a one of those forms. And then put that all together. And you will develop a sense of what's been going on lately. Now, last year or two, this really has application. Okay? Because in the Latin prefix, you're going to find the definition to be the opposite of. Okay? So, um, the opposite of dry is wet. The opposite of up is down. The opposite of left is right. You start applying that to lex... And you'll start seeing something. Okay? It's very important. I want you to know that. Because they are actually... And, and, and here's another thing. Here's another thing. I want, I want you to listen to this very carefully. In the first century, the Roman Empire owned both Judea and Egypt. Think about that. The... Roman Empire owned Judea and Egypt. The equivalent of that is that the United States owns both Indiana and Illinois. Same situation. Think about that. If you apply that with what I told you about in or ill and lex, you'll get something. Your brain will click and say, man, this does not make sense. If you'll keep that in mind, you'll catch something very big time. Like, man, why are they saying this? Because this doesn't make a dime's bit of sense. This is the kind of thinking I want you to do. The last thing I guess I'll tell you is that uh, Jesus himself actually said something about not worrying about this and not worrying about that. Um, you, you can look that up yourself. I think it's in the Sermon on the Mount. 
Uh, he, he tells people not to worry about certain things. What are they doing right now? They're worrying about certain things. He even goes on to say that this kind of panic, this kind of worrying will not add a single day to your life. Not one. So he said not to worry. Do people abide by this? There's one thing to be precautious and there's another thing to panic. You could be precautious and not panic. Did I wash my hands a little bit more? You betcha. Did I panic? Nope. And you know what? I went to the store today and I got supplies. Supplies I needed. That's what Christian theology is all about. Do they teach this in schools? Nope. Use the brain. Use the brain. That's what I've been trying to tell you guys. Do you, let, me, let me tell you one last thing. I, I know I keep saying I'm going to tell you one last thing and then I skip to another last thing. But anyway, th these are important points. Just because you didn't see me tonight, did you not learn anything? Of course you did. You learned a lot. You don't actually have to see me to learn something. This whole live stream has been nothing but one giant big lesson. You just couldn't see me tonight. I don't know what's wrong with the software. I'm going to have to go through it and find out what's going on. But at least you learned something. And that's important. So. I think that's the most important thing with this. With this, and, and, and with the la last live stream where you were able to actually see me. You learned something, didn't you? Just because you see a room of, of junk... You know what? I'm reminded of a movie called Big Trouble in Little China. Guys ever seen that movie? And one of the heroes of the story, uh, they said, you don't look rich. He said, well, look at the books. I'm like, well, the books aren't that valuable, but the information inside of them was. Ever seen my bookshelf? Of course you have in my videos. You've seen my bookshelf. What makes them valuable is not the fact that they are books, but what's written inside those books. That's valuable. And you know what? <laughs> you see, always see me sitting at my desk in my bedroom. Do you know what? Do you know I got books right underneath me right now? Did you know that? They're, and what makes them valuable is not the fact that they're written, but the content of of the books makes them valuable. Never thought about that, huh? There you go. Whew. Well, I hope you guys learned something from me tonight. And I'm glad you guys tuned in. And I want you to watch this over again. Make sure you skip the first six seconds. Six, six seconds. Dang it. Six minutes. For, skip the first six minutes because I'm having some problems. I'm still having problems. I don't know why. Anyway, eventually I'll figure out why I'm having so many problems. And I'll fix that. But... Watch this stuff. Review it. Understand it. And then go through my other videos and start learning this stuff for real. Because I'm telling you what. The intelligent are going to survive. The ones that stand there and say, oh, I'm not going to learn nothing. And you know these people. These, these people out there and they go, I ain't learning this and I ain't learning that. They're going to be poor. I promise you. They're going to be very, very poor. They may not be poor today, but they're going to. Why do you think I say happy unemployment to some people? Because I know they're stubborn, and they have no intention of learning anything. And that makes them poor. You're either smart in this day and age, or you're not going to have a job. It's that simple. I'm not going to debate it. I'm going to flat out tell you, you either get smart, or you're not going to have a job. These are ed educated jobs. You either get educated, or you're not going to have a job. It's that simple. Whew. Anyway, oh, and, and for those of you who really honestly think that, oh, I'll just go on welfare. Do you know that those applications now are on the Internet? You have to know how to operate a computer now? Yeah. So don't tell me you don't have to be smart. Yes, you do. So, I'm glad I was able to get you to think about all this. Um... 
as I learn more, I'll transmit to you guys. And I will tell you more in a future video, so I would like for you to stay tuned.